Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I create some abstract lawn exposure portraits. I don't have much experience with this particular technique on film, but have been doing it on digital for a long time. So let's get into it. The camera I'm using is Pentax 645 and the film is expired Portra 400 VC in 220 format, which yields twice more exposures per roll. In my case, with my camera, I have 30 exposures instead of 15. Special thanks to my model Mojin for being so patient and willing to try this concept. People I get to work with are literally the best. By the way, I do have another video on my channel where I use the same technique for uh, taking my self-portraits, so make sure to check that one out as well. When you use lone exposure, the shutter remains open for longer periods of time. And by introducing intentional camera movement, or in case your subject is moving, you are able to capture the trace of the movement. In my experience, lone exposures on film are a little bit more tricky than digital, so if you haven't tried this before, I would highly recommend doing this on digital first. But if you're up for a challenge, be prepared to burn some rolls. And for mentioned above reasons, I prefer to use expired film for something like this. There is absolutely no need in higher ISO film for this because you will be working with slower shutter speeds. My starting point is usually 1 30th of a second and sometimes I go to up to several seconds when it comes to camera movements, I like to experiment with this and see what works. For example, it can be something very simple, like a drag from one corner of the frame to another, or half circle down or up, or it can be more complex movement like zooming out while rotating the camera. Sometimes I get unexpected results and sometimes they do not work, but it's all about experimenting, right? Now let's talk about light. There can be so many different light scenarios that can work for longer exposures. For example, we can always mix flash with continuous light. It is also possible to use only continuous light. On this shoot, I mostly used continuous light. There is a little spotlight modifier on my flash, just for the hint of blue on some shots. I could easily get away with LED light instead of flash here, but my flash unit is a battery powered and sometimes dealing with cables laying around is not fun, especially in low light, so that's why I use the flash. There is a continuous yellow-orange LED light with a snoot and one red power tube behind the model. As you can see, there are no strict rules or settings or perfect recipe on something like this. All you have to do is experiment and have fun, see what works and see what doesn't. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have done this technique, what are your thoughts. Thanks for watching and see you in another one.